There is a bombshell new report out of ProPublica that reveals behavior on the part of Trump, or at least his organization's campaign, media company, etc., that is super suspicious, and we need to dive into it here. Nine witnesses, ProPublica reports, in the criminal cases against former President Donald Trump have received significant financial benefits, including large raises from his campaign, severance packages, new jobs, and a grant of shares and cash from Trump's media company. Now, I do want to read this to you all before going any further. Significant changes to a staffer's work situation, such as bonuses, pay raises, firings, or promotions, can be evidence of a crime if they come outside the normal course of business to prove witness tampering prosecutor would need to show that perks or punishments were intended to influence testimony so what's being alleged here or at least the suspicious activity that's being broken down in this extensive ProPublic, uh, ProPublica piece that i'll link in the description is seemingly individuals who are key witnesses in trump's criminal cases are being given at very particular times perks, new jobs, more money, etc. And that is definitely something we should be concerned with. We've seen Trump, which is why this very much falls within his character, publicly try to witness temper, publicly try to intimidate witnesses and calling them out and saying they shouldn't speak ill of him. And so seeing this type of behavior just bolsters that. I don't think, I want to say this clearly, there would be any pursuit of a prosecution against Trump for what's going on here. And again, this is just allegations, ProPublica pointing out this suspicious activity. So we're not making a stone cold accusation here, but definitely, definitely notable. And the response from Trump's team is not helping. And we'll get to that. But first, here's a little bit more. The benefits have flowed from Trump's businesses and campaign committees. According to a ProPublica analysis of public disclosures, court records, and securities filings, one campaign aide had his average monthly pay double from $26,000 to 53500 Another employee got a $2 million severance package, barring him from voluntarily cooperating with law enforcement. And one of the campaign's top officials had her daughter hired onto the campaign staff, where she's now the fourth highest paid employee. And you know, I'm going to really quickly pause your viewing of this video to ask you to subscribe. I continue to be absolutely blown away by how many of you are doing that every time I ask. So if you haven't yet, please make sure you click that subscribe button. I always think about when we discuss these sorts of stories, the what often seems to be blatant corruption on the part of Trump and those that he's surrounded with. He's now a convicted felon. But remember that long list that... Uh, Colin Cowherd went through in a recent segment we discussed of just how many convicted felons are uh, people Trump surrounds himself with or used to surround himself with. That's the circle that Trump operates within. So it makes sense that now he's a convicted felon. But remember that MAGA will make so much noise about much less. They'll be able to connect all these abstract dots when they're trying to attack Biden, and then they can't connect the dots whenever we get reporting like this. I will jump over to the New Republic that breaks this down in a pretty succinct manner. Bombshell report reveals Team Trump is rewarding key trial witnesses. Donald Trump's campaign and the Trump organization paid off nine witnesses called to testify in criminal cases against Trump. An explosive new report from ProPublica revealed witnesses who testify in defense of Trump for his numerous criminal cases received massive raises, new jobs, cushy severance packages, and more, all conveniently coinciding with being called to testify or after providing testimony favorable to Trump. And the excuses from Trump team uh, or Team Trump couldn't be weaker. And again, if you could prove that this was explicitly to influence their testimony, it would be criminal. Crimes would be committed here. But as Barbara McQuaid, a former U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of Michigan, pointed out to ProPublica, witness tampering is often difficult to prove because the gimmick is often not done explicitly. But the trend could assist prosecutors in their efforts to call into question the credibility of witnesses testifying in Trump's defense for his innumerable legal battles. So that's a key part of this, too. And we could see these very anecdotes that we're walking through in this segment used by prosecutors to call into question the legitimacy of these favorable to the defense witnesses that are allies of Trump and are getting these sorts of perks. Now, the reaction you have to see. First, there's a little bit of panic. They are sending a cease and desist, which 
if we believe Trump team's argument would be because they genuinely believe this all to be ridiculous. I see it a little bit more as panicking because it's onto something. But uh, the quote that I just laughed out loud at whenever I read it was from Stephen Chung, who's a spokesperson for the Trump campaign. And he said, the 2024 Trump, in response to this reporting, the 2024 Trump campaign is the most well-run and professional operation in political history. That doesn't help your case. No one believes that. Any false assertion that we're engaging in any type of behavior that may be regarded as tampering is absurd and completely fake. And I'll reiterate, we've already seen wildly inappropriate behavior, violations of Trump's gag orders, where he goes after witnesses who are not favorable to him. So could he also be using a a carrot, I should say, a carrot instead of a stick method with people who are favorable? Doesn't seem outside of his character or morals. You also have uh, the response to these queries by ProPublica team. Trump claimed the nine witnesses who all saw big raise and flashy new jobs simply took on more work. The campaign also insisted Trump, who notoriously insists on controlling every facet of his organization, something we saw represented time and time again in his criminal trial, has no say in who gets promoted or how much they're paid. The president is not involved in the decision-making process. A Trump campaign official told ProPublica, I would argue Trump doesn't know what we're paid. So, (laughs) again, the response is not helping because to me, you could say, oh, that's silly. Those nine witnesses, look at these 30 other people who got similar treatment who weren't witnesses. But instead, the response is, well, the president doesn't involve himself in decision making, the foreign president, but they call him the president. Uh, And that's something that we know to be incorrect, again, based on testimony in this trial where he's a micromanager, apparently. And then beyond that, asserting that the 2024 Trump campaign is the most well-run and professional operation in political history. Now you're just making us giggle, Steve. That's just ridiculous. And I do want to, as we're talking about this, so huge reporting, We'll see where this goes, see if any more of it can be substantiated, but truly stunning and and shocking stuff. I want to remind you that one of the big arguments from Trump, as we hear constantly, is that he's being treated so poorly. This is indicative of the two-tier justice system, right? Democrats are being protected. The Republicans are being targeted. Today, jury selection is is, uh, ongoing in Hunter Biden's criminal trial. Hunter Biden a Democrat, son of Joe Biden. This is actually the first time in American history that the son, the the child of a president will be going to a criminal trial while the president is still in office, which is pretty stunning. Another historic moment. This is specifically in relation to him violating uh, allegedly laws surrounding, it's a federal, federal laws about being addicted to a controlled substance and purchasing a gun, which he did. And so that's what he's going to trial for. We also have uh, the Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar, we have Democratic Senator Bob Menendez, all being prosecuted. And they want to claim that it's only Republicans being prosecuted. Maybe Democrats just don't make a fuss about those because we think even Democrats should be held legally accountable. And on that, media reports that President Joe Biden uh, sent out this message for His son, I am the president, but I'm also a dad. Jill and I love our son, and we are so proud of the man he is today. Hunter's resilience in the face of adversity and the strength he has brought to his recovery are inspiring to us. A lot of families have loved ones who have overcome addiction and know what we mean. As the president, I don't and won't comment on pending federal cases, but as a dad, I have boundless love for my son, confidence in him, and respect for his strength. Our family has been through a lot together, and Jill and I are going to continue to be there for Hunter and our family with our love and support. So there it is. And again, you don't hear anyone saying this is a witch hunt against Hunter Biden. If indeed he violated the law by purchasing this firearm allegedly when he was still addicted to drugs, then he should be held accountable, whatever is fair. And that seems to be what is playing out. Same thing for the other Democrats who are experiencing legal troubles, but we don't hear the same from MAGA, unfortunately. Tell me what you thought of that massive reporting.